big hard books and classics. With your host, Alan Mahan. booktube welcome to my channel my name is alan and i want to thank brian at bookish for giving me um a shout out in my first tag so appreciate it i'm just gonna go right through this without much preparation at all one how and when did you discover booktube last month in august i'm I'm Irish, and I'm a little superstitious. I mean, I, 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 I like to play at it. It's fun. And I thought I would uh, do light in August. Faulkner novel um, in August to kick off my channel. And I had a lot of trouble um, doing it. I didn't have a tripod or anything. I just, I, I thought I was prepared. I'd watched other booktubers and and like the, the how to um book tuber people i forget their names but they're like you know they got a million subscribers and they show you how to uh, do thumbnails and how to do this and tags and, um, i was just really ignorant about um, the whole thing and i i still am. <laughs> i i learn a little every day but anyway um so yeah, I was bound and determined to get this channel up with light in August, in August, just for the sheer uh, luck of the karma of it. And I did, so I felt good about that. Question two. How long? What? Oh, I'm, oh my God. I answered, That was question two. Question one. I'm really tired. Question one. How and when did you discover book two? Hmm, I... I have been on YouTube forever. I I don't watch a lot of TV. I like to um, and I, I don't have it all hooked up in my um apartment here yet. I, I don't even have cable. You know, uh, my computer that I write on is not hooked up to Wi-Fi. I get free Wi-Fi across the street, but this computer I write on is so old, it has a, a disc in it. It pops out, you know, and um. What else? Oh, just old keyboard and old mouse. But I'm not tempted to go online when I'm writing. So I um, I watched a lot of harmonica how-to videos. I was into uh, like YouTube videos. I, I'm into um, Joe Rogan podcast, uh, WTF, Mark Maron podcast. I used to be until I discovered BookTube. Now I, I rarely even watch those guys anymore. Um, uh, that's basically how I discovered it. I, I think um, looking for other people with similar interests, too, for like Faulkner uh, uh, read-throughs, things like that. Okay, question three. Favorite thing about BookTube? That would be uh, the getting turned on to new things. I love it when I can learn something new from someone else. You know, I'm there. I can do that. And sometimes I'm starting to feel like a little ham operator. Like back in the day, I should get a map and put it on my wall. So I do have a map on my wall. It's Yatna Patafa. There, say it right. Um, but I should get one of the of the world because I have. I talked to booktubers in England and Ireland and. Uh, New Zealand. What else? That's, that's about it for now, but then, you know, pretty good for being on just a few weeks. Question four. The least thing you like about BookTube. So, what I dislike about BookTube, um, I, it's not really about BookTube. I just, it, I want to learn everything Try not to make any mistakes, which is impossible. You know, set, set yourself a standard like that, and you're gonna, you're gonna drop the ball. 
I had problems with my new cell phone and the sound, and I hope I fixed that. I think I did. Unfortunately, I can't shoot the other side of my, my room. I'd like to shoot from yet, but uh, it's a work in progress. There's not much I dislike about BookTube. Question five. Recommend a BookTube channel. Okay. Um, let's see. I like The Book Chemist. And I like Better Than Food. They're really better than food. Uh, Cliff over there, I was really impressed with him. He's real like stylish and classy, and he just does book reviews. He doesn't really participate. But uh, sometimes I just like getting on somebody's channel and just, you know, play them all. And maybe even while I'm reading a book, you know, kind of. Um, Big L Books, Alex. I, I like her channel, watch everything on there. And Love of Ryan, he's been absent for um, a while, but I went through and watched all his stuff. Now, um, those guys I, I mentioned, wow. six, yes, six. How did you expect your channel to go? I, uh, let's see, how far do I want to I'm this finding story. it harder than I thought finding it harder to talk on camera. I'm finding it really hard to read short stories on camera. My, my mind just is thinking too far ahead. and it starts stuttering and get all nervous and sweaty. Seven, any booktubers you've watched but you don't watch now? Uh, yes. Question eight. Oh, yeah, you know, I used to watch um, young British women showing off their bookshelf. These massive bookshelves are just so beautiful. And, and oh, you know, I've, I've lost so many books in my life. And, and that, um, so I had a uh, an apartment one time, again, in, in uh, grad school in Tempe, Arizona. And the books were just um, concrete cinder blocks with um, two by eights or whatever, uh, wood boards, white cinder block and then books on all the walls and um someday i'll get it again you know meanwhile i'm just stuck with a bunch of uh, old used ones i've been trying to get some of my property back and it's gone um you know the books i left back there boxes of them uh, i know there are at least four or five and uh she did send me a few but of course, not the ones I wanted, and with a bunch of uh, old paperwork and things from high school and old cards, and uh, I'm trying to make me feel sad. It's hard to lose books. Question eight: Favorite booktube recommended book? Mm. Well, um, okay, uh, Jonathan Franzen's Freedom. I did read. I loved his corrections, but I never, I just fell out of my reading site for a while. So um, Clifford at Better Than Books turned me on to that, and I reviewed it here on my page. And another book that I was turned on to by, I think, Love of Ryan, maybe, is uh, Zone by Anard. And I'm going to have to start this book over. I made it to page 350, and it's a book I want to reread anyway. Uh, this is all one sentence. But he, it's not quite like uh, Penelope and Ulysses, uh, Molly Bloom's soliloquy at the end. Hers is more, uh, much more dense. This gives you a chance to, there's a, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to review the book here. That's another one. And finally, I think we're done. Um, take somebody. Take some people. I take Brian at Bookish. You know, I, uh, let's say I'm going to tag Alex at Big Al Books. I'm going to tag Katie over in England at Books and Things. I'm really getting a lot out of her channel, especially with the October coming up. I'll be surprised if she, she does it. But let's see. And I'm also going to uh, 
tag a guy. I like his channel, but I've never talked to him. You might know him. Just one reader. I like his stuff. So I'll take three people and put this up tonight. I was going to try to read a, another Dublinder story, but I think I'm just going to read and turn in. I uh, finished Weathering Heights in three days and not trying to speed read it at all. And then I watched the film of it. So that's kind of affected me. I am on Team Weathering Heights. It's one of my new obsessions. I'm going to be rereading that too. So that's me. Ah, thanks for your time, your consideration, and sláinte. Ah. <clears throat>